Yo, what's happening everyone? It's your boy here, Abdul Rahim, back again with another great, amazing tech video. Well, the video of today is all about the iPod Nano. I'm taking you back to the memories of 2007 there, whereby Apple announced the iPod Nano. Well, the iPod Nano is such an amazing kind of iPod. I've been using it on my daily drive rather than continue using Spotify as my daily drive on my phone. So I decided to use the iPod Nano. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on the iPod Nano, it's such an amazing kind of iPod whereby it grooves through our different perspective. First thing first, it has a touch um, rounded cycle. I can call it like a player mode of the button, which you can just cycle throughout the apps. You can just do stuff like that, which on the old school side, it was such an amazing kind of stuff. Let us be honest, guys. Um, if you're coming out to throughout that kind of scheme of those years and you have used this kind of tech you are really really a OG they call it an OG one so yeah that's what's up so for that another kind of stuff which is so impressive throughout the iPod is the way the mechanism is it's actually small you can tell no difference if you have an iPod or not you can just toss it in your pocket and forget it but if you have an headphones that means it supports a headphone jack now if you have a headphone jack or a headphone that means your iPod is actually you getting there and you understand that I have an iPod but to be honest if you don't have those kind of stuffs well you might be losing it another kind of stuff which which captured me on using the iPod Nano in 2020 is the display. What the display out of it, it's actually so amazing. It's an LCD display. You can judge out of it, giving you that much kind of um, like a quad HD or like a full HD. You know what I'm saying? It's just an LCD. A 320 and it's 320, 320 somewhere there. The aspect of the screen size out of it and it's such an amazing kind of stuff battery wise it has a 400 milliampere battery which to my own kind of aspect i'm really kind of so enthusiast using the ipod nano as my daily drive i really really appreciate how much apple give that kind of effort throughout making this ipod to be honest the ipod it's such an amazing kind of device which in 2020 some of you guys or some of you upcoming um tech people some of you don't know about this some of you know so i hope it's a chance right now to understand how much the flow it was using an ipod in back in the days it takes your lane into different kind of perspective like you've been using a walkman or you have been using a tap and stuff like that and you you're just grooving throughout using an ipod it's such an amazing kind of stuff so on this kind of ipod which things which are really really impressive you can keep 300 uh 300 300 3000 songs but for now 8 gigabyte is a little bit minimal let us be honest 8 gb you can just keep a lot of things right you can just keep like songs which have 5 mb or 10 mb but for right now 8 gb to be honest it's a little bit minimal so the downside out of it the storage wise the ipod nano came out with 4 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte now for the 8 gigabyte is the one which i can call it like a pro one which gives you that kind of bigger storage and uh, material wise it's metallic it's actually metal it's metal at the back at the front is polished finished uh, plastic which that plastic is so hard in plastic and it's such an amazing kind of stuff for Apple giving out that kind of stuff back in the days growing up as a kid in 2007 I was so impressed with how much Apple did a great job throughout iPod Nano to be honest to my own kind of aspect I really really love how much Apple did it on the iPod side rather than right now focusing more on iPhone and forget the iPod ecosystem so I think me as a user or as an Android tech user actually to be honest i really sometimes get frustrated with iphones but it's not that much saying that i hate the people using iphones because some of the people get things twisted here and there but to be honest the iphone ecosystem for right now it's a little bit kind of not much grooving but uh when it comes to ipod wise if they could just i know they combine everything throughout the iphone but if they could just stick with ipod 2 on the same same scheme improving that kind of ecosystem you know you're growing out through all that you can have even an ipod nano perhaps another kind of generation which is more more great like having more features out of it so to my own kind of aspect as a user as a tech user i really really appreciate what apple did 
back in the day so this is the ipod nano ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed on this kind of amazing um tech review thank you guys for watching if you're new here my name is abdul rahim 113 consider subscribing to your homeboy here i really really appreciate on that last but not least i'll be catching you guys on the next one as always stay sharp and creative and don't forget the nano because the nano is the nano you can't break the nano it's the nano beat that's what's up peace Thank you.